How are you doing today? Are you feeling alright? I hope you aren't feeling too jumpy because we've gathered together a bunch of pretty weird stuff to mess with your head. Oh, could you set up a Tinder account for me? Tinder is pretty lonely. That's right, we at the Fancy Banana do enjoy getting a little bit creeped out from time to time. How about you? Just in time for spooky season, we've scoured the internet and, well, frankly, we've scraped the bottom of the barrel on your behalf just to give you and your lucky eyeballs the creeps. My pet guinea pig Twinkle may never be the same. From the village of the dam styled bollards in the English countryside to a phone charger that looks and moves like an umbilical cord, here are 20 creepy things that you will see for the first time in your life. Well, probably for the first time, although this is the internet, so who knows how long they've been kicking about, really. Number 20. Fairly Creepy Doll Walking with a Guy. Well, the title of this one would suggest that it's only a fairly creepy looking doll, so I'm warming you up gently for the rest of these weird and scary things that we have for you and your lucky eyeballs today. Here we are, a tiny little clip of a guy who has seemingly fashioned a walking companion from some bits of wood and a doll's head. It's not the most average way of doing such a thing, but you can't knock him for his effort. But what else is there to say about this, you may ask? Well, pretty much naff all, so we're we're probably just going to play the clip a couple more times over and over and over and over again anyways. I don't know, perhaps you've made yourself a doll or any other fairly creepy thing. This has some vibes of that kid next door in Toy Story with all the mutant toys, but otherwise it could just be an example of original thought and recycling. What do you think? And would you like a doll like this? Go ahead and get involved in the comments section down below and let me know what you think. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Horror Car Wash drive through Los Angeles County. As far as I'm concerned, the car wash experience is one that would be extremely difficult to improve upon. I mean, what's not to love? sitting in your car with all the water sloshing about and the Muppet things whizzing around, and it's kind of like being in a budget-conscious theme park ride, isn't it? So why mess around with this stuff? But despite my personal lamentations on the subject, people always seem to be intent on tinkering in places where no such tinkering is required. Like this car wash facility in Los Angeles County. After the events of 2020, which shall remain nameless, many of the usual Halloween haunts were unable to open their doors, as they usually would during the spooky season. For a couple of people in Anaheim, California, however, they saw an opportunity to bring the haunting elsewhere. Car washes were open, so they figured they would combine the Halloween haunt with the practical job of cleaning the car, as one does. I mean, who wouldn't want a scary clown scrubbing the schmutz off of their vehicle, whilst other creeps and weirdos wander around with chainsaws and shiz like that? All for the bargain price of $40. What a fun one. Number 18. Fox Human Creature Entertains Thousands at Karachi Zoo in Pakistan. Well, it takes all sorts now, doesn't it? This is Mumtaz Begum, the legendary attraction at the Karachi Zoo in Pakistan. It's a weird sideshow sort of situation, which is apparently a popular stop at the zoo for thousands of visitors. In fact, this attraction has been here in one form or another for 40 years. This is a half-human, half-fox attraction, a role that's currently played by a 33-year-old man named Murad Ali. He dresses up as the woman's head with the fox his body and spends as much as 12 hours a day nattering away with the general public and telling fortunes. Well, that makes perfect sense now, doesn't it? It doesn't look like it would be the most comfortable job in the entire world. I mean, imagine sitting in a box all day long with your head poked through a hole. It's definitely creepy and I can't say that I've ever seen anything quite like this one before. Have you? Number 17. Ghost Projector for Halloween 
In some neighborhoods, there's a competitive edge to decorating during the spooky season, and this is one of the millions of things that you can purchase in order to scare the heck out of your friends and family and win the most fancy decorations on your street contest. It's a projector that will beam realistic ghosts wherever you choose to point it. In no time at all, you could be pulling off Scooby-Doo style haunting house hoaxes and getting all the local news people's panties all in a bunch. Just think of how creeped out you can get with the trick-or-treaters. Some people take this stuff extremely seriously indeed, and they'll be plotting to use their projectors for all kinds of spooky goings-on. So, no doubt, you'll be able to find all manner of instructional videos to assist you in your nefarious Halloween happenings, so should you desire. Number 16. Balloon Lamp – A Terrifying Twist on the Usual Home Decor there are many reasons that a red balloon is kind of cool. You know, a fun addition to a party perhaps, or even a slightly melancholy French movie from the 1960s about a little kid in his red balloon. Of course, but for some of you perverts, the red balloon is the symbol of something much, much more sinister. The movie It, about a deranged child-murdering clown that terrorizes the city by stalking the sewers, is by no means the only place that a red balloon appears in popular culture. But for some reason, it's the one that everyone seems to remember. Funny that. So some bright sparks decided that the most fun way to make a piece of home decor would be to make a lamp that looks exactly like the red balloon from that terrifying movie about the clown that eats children. Oh great. This, I'm sure you will agree, is an item that everyone needs in their lives, especially next to their beds when they're trying to fall asleep at night. You too can be the proud owner of a lamp that guarantees nightmares and all for the bargain price of about 35 bucks. Go on then, you know you want to. Or you could just buy this for someone you really hate. Number 15. The It Experience – Haunted House Attraction Hollywood for some people, being scared, but in a totally controlled and expected way, is the highlight of their year. The season around Halloween is the time when loads of places open up their doors and offer paying customers the opportunity to have the bejesus scared out of them, all for a small fee, of course. And this is one such attraction, if you happen to like that sort of thing. The It Experience is a nightmare of a visit in which punters can see the clown Pennywise, who murders children, by the way, lurking in the sewers waiting to kill and eat kids. One of his victims, Georgie, is a prominent feature throughout the experience, wearing his yellow raincoat and holding his red balloon. So it seems that the people that chose to visit this horror are brought into the house in groups of seven. This apparently represents the number of children in the Losers Club, the gang of neighborhood children from in the movie. They then walk through a maze, which is a mixture of animatronics, projectors, and live actors, all leaping about all over the place. And this 20-minute visit climaxes in a trip to the sewers, which is no doubt a rather harrowing experience indeed. Ugh. Number 14. Creepy mannequin-style bollards cause outcry with residents. Dubbed the Village of the Damned, this place in Great Britain has been upsetting the local residents with its new weird bollards. These child-shaped bollards have been placed all along the street next to the local primary school. Their dead-eyed expression staring out at motorists as they pass through the village of Stony Stanton has been causing people a rather lot of displeasure. While it is true that they are super creepy, it might also be said that they've definitely done their job of reminding drivers to slow down and be aware of children as they pass by the school. There are mixed opinions on the subject, of course. When is there ever a consensus on anything in this age of very important opinions? Some have even said that they're doing the job of slowing down the traffic, while others are blubbing that they're likely being a distraction that will cause more crashes. But there you go. What do you think? Is it a sensible idea or just a load of total bollards? Number 13. Devil Baby Attack 
Well, this is creepy, and frankly, if I had lived my entire life without seeing it, well, that would have been just fine with me. But here we are, and we at the Fancy Banana like to scare ourselves to keep all of you entertained. Aren't you just so lucky? There have been plenty of fun and original ways that movie companies have used over the years to promote new releases. Sometimes these are really cool and stick in your mind for all the right reasons, and then there's this one, the promotion of a movie called Devil's Do from back in 2014. To draw attention to their film, the bright sparks at Think Moto Advertising Agency came up with this animatronic devil baby to scare the general public in a hidden camera experience in which they placed a robot monster baby in a pram in the street and left it crying to coax people to look into the seemingly abandoned stroller. Then the animatronic devil baby leaps up and screeches, spewing green vomit all over the show. I mean, I hope they had some really good insurance for that shiz. I mean, it seriously could give someone a literal heart attack. Number 12. Creepy Tableware by Ronit Baranga and up next, we have some extremely unappetizing dinnerware. And when it comes to dinnerware, you're not generally looking to put people off of their food, now are you? Though this is art, in some respects anyways. These ceramic pieces are the work of an Israeli artist who goes by the name of Ronit Baranga, who uses clay and porcelain to make some really bizarre and kind of disturbing pieces. These works include realistic body parts. In particular, she uses a lot of open mouths with teeth and tongues protruding out. And she's also known for creating pieces with lots of human fingers disembodied and attached in odd shapes, or even bursting through the ceramic surface. And what do you think of these strange pieces? I mean, that bowl with all the mouths inside is like a horror movie or something, isn't it? Or perhaps you just have a different take on these artworks. Let's get into a row, I, I mean a discussion about it, in the comment section down below, shall we? I'd love to know what you think. For me, it's enough to put you right off your dinner. Even my pet guinea pig Twinkle is queasy. Number 11. Anatomically Correct Cake there are so many television shows about people making cakes. In fact, we're all kind of used to the idea that cakes can be made into all kinds of shapes and sizes and can indeed be fashioned to look like almost anything you could possibly imagine. But there's also a baker who's taken the endless possibility of cakes and ran with it in a totally surprising and kind of really disgusting direction. These are the anatomically accurate cakes of Annabelle DeVetten of Conjurer's Kitchen Bakery. Ten points for her original but perhaps fewer points for appetizing appeal. She's carved out a niche in the world of cake baking and decorating that's truly unique. Her cakes look extremely accurate, gorily realistic bodies, and, well, bits of bodies. Based in Birmingham in the United Kingdom, this cake shop produces cakes with extraordinary detail using cocoa butter-based paints and many layers of chocolate, fondant, and marzipan. These cakes are made to look like anything from severed limbs to surgical procedures, rotting corpses to skulls, and DeVetten actually studied sculpture and taxidermy at university. So she's long had an interest in the body from the inside out. But what do you think? Could you eat a cake that looks like your internal organs? What the heck is wrong with you people? Number 10. Creepy face pies are terrifying the internet. What is it with all the gross, creepy baking, and why do people seem so interested in eating bits of bodies? This is slightly worrying as a trend, don't you think? But anyways, here we are in Hollywood, naturally, and this time we're looking at a work of horror props creator Ashley Newman and American baker Andrew Fuller in a nightmarish collaboration inspired by Sweeney Todd, the Victorian barber who murdered people and baked them into pies, as one does. This actually began with Newman's work on some inedible pies which were shaped like human faces but were actually made out of latex. So gruesome, but at least people weren't lining up to actually eat them. Anyways, it turns out that in general people are weirdos and the baker had lots of requests for real edible versions of such things before he tried to make any. And they're super popular for some unknown reason. In fact, they've been selling like hotcakes. Number 9. There's a freaky painting under this normal portrait. 
Blake Newbert is what is known as a scrape reveal artist. This basically means that he creates art that appears, to all intents and purposes anyway, to be a regular sort of picture. Then he'll take a razor blade and scrape away at the top layer of art to reveal something hidden beneath. Now, this is fun for novelty reasons, but his art is also messing with some pretty twisted stuff. Interestingly, the top layer is usually pretty bog standard art. You know, the kind of thing that wouldn't look out of place in a collection of kitsch thrift store offerings, but what lies beneath has much more disturbing quality. Messed up faces with wild, staring bloodshot eyes and twisted crawling mouths. It's not pretty, but then again, it's not really meant to be. Nuber used to be fairly busy creating standard sorts of Americana style artworks, but this foray into the weird seems to be here to stay. He's experimented with screwed up Superman and a beautiful blonde woman with a ball gag. The possibilities for hidden weirdness are endless and the opportunity to shock and discombobulate are no doubt part of the appeal of this work. But I might not fancy having one staring at me on my living room wall. How about you? Number 8. A Statue of Toothache in One of St. Petersburg Dental Clinic Again, here we are in the creepiest of territories, where this time it's Russia, which I'm sure you're aware is a country that's not afraid to lean into its darker side. This is a monument to a toothache, because of course it is. This dental surgery in St. Petersburg and Russia decided that they would remind their customers of the importance of good dental hygiene by creating an extremely unforgettable sculpture. They employed the skills of a local contemporary artist named Mariana Shemkova to create this monstrous monument, and to make this sculpture, which is like a generalized nightmare with mouths all over a head, she used 403 rotten teeth that had been provided by dentists at the surgery. This sculpture has been given the nickname Alfred by the dentists, and has been filling patients with a sense of abject horror ever since. Ugh, I think I would probably visit a new dentist if mine began with this sort of disgusting homage to toothache with real body parts. There should be rules about this sort of thing, and now I can never unsee this. Thanks a whole lot, Russia. Number 7. Halloween Masks at Transworld 2021 – Scary Silicone and Latex Masks it's amazing just what can be achieved by the extremely talented and no doubt ever so slightly deranged. You know, artists who turn their hands to creating horror masks out of silicone and latex. These things are super realistic and super terrifying in equal measure. And although I can certainly appreciate the artistic merit of such a thing, it doesn't mean that they don't creep the living heck out of me in every way imaginable. Now for your lucky, lucky eyeballs, we have a selection of the creepiest masks on offer at the 2020 21 Transworld Halloween and Attraction Show in St. Louis, Missouri. There are the usual array of scary clowns. There really do seem to be endless ways to make terrifying clown masks, don't there? And then there are all the usual suspects. You know, stuff like Pennywise from It, various monsters, animals, horror movie classics, the list goes on. This seems to be the convention where you'll find all things super terrifying and everything Halloween-y that you could ever need and probably don't even want. Unless, of course, you're making a horror movie yourself. Number 6. Devil's Fingers some of Mother Nature's scariest stuff is not to be found in the animal kingdom, although a goblin shark is ranked right up there. And if you've ever seen one, then you'll know exactly what I mean. But many of her worst horrors are actually to be discovered in the world of plants. Yes, plants are creepy as well. In fact, there are loads of gross and scary plants out there, but close to the top of that list of creepsters has got to be the Devil's Fingers, also known as Octopus Stinkhorn. These plants are a kind of fungus guy that not only look pretty horrific, but also grows in a way that is likely to give you nightmares. These mushrooms will literally burst out of the creepy eggs, revealing their bright red tentacle-like parts that are coated in a disgusting blackish-greenish slime. They do sound truly delightful, don't they? For the most part, these plants hang out underground, which is probably a blessing, but then when they're ready to reproduce, they'll suddenly grow into these fingers and begin oozing slime that is full of their spores. Oh, and to add delight on top of the wonder that they are, they're also blessed with a fragrance that's reminiscent of rotting flesh. This is how they attract flies to come in and land on them, because the flies are drawn to the smell of decomposition and they'll pollinate the fungi. Mmm, delicious. Number 5. 
childlike robot feels pain. Now, we've certainly never shied away from robots here at the Fancy Banana. In fact, it seems often as though we're always sharing the latest terrifying robotic news with all of you. I barely sleep anymore for the fear of the day that they become self-aware and all the robots outsmart us and murder us. So this little robot should add a fresh dimension to my nightmares, and I hope it will do the same for you, you lucky dog. I'm really spoiling you today now, aren't I? Here's a robot that's alleged to be able to feel pain. Sounds like a horror movie. What eyes? And if you talk to me... Well, this is the creation of a scientist at Osaka University in Japan, where they've created a childlike robot named Afeto that's capable of feeling pain. But why on earth they figured that they would need to make a kid-style robot and then poke it with electricity is beyond me. It just makes the whole thing so much more creepier. What do you think, though? What the heck is this all about, and why is it being beamed into my eyeballs? Go on and lay into this mess of stuff in the comments down below. It's time that you shared an opinion, or perhaps five of them. Number 4. Unconventional take on face masks is going viral. Well, there was a time back in the bad old days of 2020 when there was suddenly a new and global trend for sporting a covering on one's face. These items were instantly the height of fashion, and you couldn't go anywhere uncovered. In fact, you wouldn't be seen dead in many places without one. All over the internet, there were creative and opportunistic people fashioning all different varieties of these things, to such the extent that at one point, it seemed that everyone was getting in on the act. But this artist took things to a whole different level entirely. She's an artist and student from Iceland who, finding herself bored at home, decided to whip up a few fancy masks for her own amusement. And wow, did they turn out creepy. She knitted a whole range of weird masks, many of which feature several tongues, as you can see. And this is certainly a strange take, but it was also a strange time, and frankly, we all went just the tiniest bit mad. So this artist's reaction seems quite standard when all things are considered. I'm not really sure what sort of effectiveness that a woolly mask might have, but they certainly do add a new dimension to an otherwise boring and ubiquitous item. Would you wear one of these artworks on your face? Number 3. There's a talking gargoyle that is surprising visitors at Denver International Airport. So, as it turns out, Denver International Airport has a weird conspiracy theory all its own, and this one is nuts. When the airport was built back in the mid-1990s, people began to get all kinds of suspicions about what kind of sinister stuff it was hiding, like all airports, presumably. Anyways, these theories were especially fixated on the size of Denver Airport. It is apparently massive, and they began theorizing that it was actually a cover for an enormous underground bunker complex that was, and this is bananas, designed to house U.S. citizens in a concentration camp so that the so-called One World Government could take over. Alrighty then. Could you set up a Tinder account for me? You're pretty lonely. Anyways, this is the world we live in where people are convinced that the Illuminati are everywhere, especially in the airport in Denver, because where else would they be? In the spirit of mischief, DIA decided to lean into the weirdness and added a few quirks of their own, one of which is this gargoyle. It's a gargoyle on a plinth which actually moves and talks to passers-by. Not just randomly either, the gargoyle is actually fully interactive and person-specific. It's weird, but it's also kind of fun, I suppose. Pose. Number 2. Umbilical Cord iPhone Charger this one is well beyond creepy because it's quite literally what it says. It's a charger for an iPhone designed to look just like an umbilical cord. And it's very realistic, apart from all the gore and gloop of course, but even so, it's way too lifelike to be comfortable with. In fact, this charger actually undulates when it's plugged in, as if it's feeding the phone. Ugh. Is this sort of thing really necessary, I ask you? And as it charges, as if it were a fetus being fed, the whole thing begins wiggling its way across whatever space you happen to put it in. It's very creepy. This bizarre item is not actually part of Apple's latest launch. It's called the Grow Cable, and it's the work of an artist, and the idea behind it is to show the extent to which we, as humans, are so very attached to our technology. And yes, that is no doubt an issue, but this whole thing is just a little bit much. Imagine sitting next to someone on a plane who pulled this thing out of their bag. Number 1. 
half-human, half-hyena dog caught on camera in South Africa. This footage would be captured at the Limpopo area of South Africa and is said to show a half-human, half-dog person creature thing. But frankly, this super grainy and conveniently far away footage is hardly what I would call conclusive proof. How about you? While the figure does seem somewhat unusual, there is no proper evidence that it's anything much at all. Maybe a person walking on all fours? Who really knows? I'm no expert, but this snippage of footage is, you know, not the most concrete proof of anything at all, but who could possibly say? What do you think is going on in this slightly suspect video? Could it actually be a human dog, or a dog human, or a dog human human dog, or a person just mucking about, or maybe a dog with unusual legs, or another species altogether? We do need to crack this mystery together, so get on it in the comments section down below. Well, all of that was just a little bit unnecessary, wasn't it? I feel decidedly more uncomfortable than I did a half an hour ago, but how about you? Was this creepy stuff just what you needed to make your life complete? Or are you beginning to wish that you hadn't felt compelled to look? Let me know all about how this made you feel. We can be like a mini therapy group in the comments section down below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.